basically I did like a stream on the state of esports journalism, the videos up on YouTube now. And since then, one of the uh, greatest sort of offenders, one of the greatest, you know, posing as a journalist uh, criminals, uh, Overdrive has sort of had a fucking like, j j I've just mentally broken. It's like really sad, actually. Because remember, he used to like me and say complimentary things about me. And then I just blocked him on Twitter because he said something stupid. And as I said, I have a real low threshold for stupidity. That's it. That's all it is. It's not anything personal. It, it's not an indictment on you beyond you're just stupid. That's all it is. And listen, the majority of people in the world are fucking stupid, probably. I don't know. I just I just got no truck with it. Like, when people say ridiculously stupid things out loud, you know, it's like, couldn't you have just took a moment and not say that? Like, just think before you speak? And I don't know. It just, it really bothers me. It, it does bother me. I can't pretend it doesn't. And as you get older and a bit more cantankerous, uh, you just have less of a threshold for it. You know, you just have less of a threshold for, you know, rampant stupidity, unfortunately. So, you know, it's like, sorry, guys. Anyway, it's been tough for, for Overdrive since the, the video happened. So I, I, we're going to just take a look at some of it. And, you know, you in a segment called Maximum Overdrive, I guess. So we know he's got a very checkered record by now, right? Because the thing you got to know about Overdrive, a little bit of history, right? It's not just that he's a jilted ex because I blocked him and he talks about me all the time now for some reason. I barely address him, but I'm going to chew him up these last two times because these will go on YouTube and then he'll just be a clown, just be a running joke for the rest of his life. And he can, call, he can invoke my name. I'm the guy with the awards and the reputation and the 100 percent accuracy rating and you were just a clout goblin so you have to understand the level of clout goblinry that went on with overdrive back in the day uh overdrive was a dude who couldn't be a player he couldn't hack it as a player now understand i never wanted to be a pro player i was kind of old i was too old for that when i really started in the scene you know I, like i didn't get into online gaming when i was like 17 you know i was already like 21 i think when i first started on the esports journey and it just never really appealed to me to sort of be something to be good at. I was from a very jockey kind of background and playing sports and come, you know, worked in sales and used to do coke and all that stuff, you know, mini Wolf of Wall Street bullshit. Never really occurred to me to want to sit down and actually play the games to like a high level, you know, who gives a fuck? But Overdrive played in like 1.6 and he was shit it was really sad for him because obviously in russia you know russia and ukraine and kazakhstan all had great 1.6 scenes and produced great 1.6 talent and he never made it right and he never made it and then you know when csgo sort of came rolling around in the early days he saw he started paying to be in uh, mixed teams with pro players and if you go back and look you'll see he's played with like some big names and stuff like this but he like literally paid for them to attend the LAN he paid their entrance fee paid their travel paid their hotel might even have thrown them some money I don't know where he gets his money from none of my business frankly I wouldn't impugn him on that basis if he's got money good for him um but anyway uh th so you know look I just want to go on record and say if you have to pay people to play with you you know if you can't achieve pr the level of pro but you sort of bribe people to play with you you're kind of pathetic i mean it was like uh what was that other guy that fucking motar whatever who used to just go on streams and drop 10 grand for attention and everyone's like oh he's so good he's such a nice guy it's like ah, he's a bit of an attention seeker isn't he but everyone was looking his ass because he's got money it's kind of like you know you're watching it happen with mr beast now you know he's obviously a really dislikable person if you just but people ignore that because they think ha maybe there's a small part of their brain that tells them it's probably in the lizard brain area you know they go oh but if i if i lick his ass and say nice things maybe somehow i'll get 
chosen and I'll get some of his money. And it's just like, nah, he's a really arrogant prick, actually. And comes across as really dislikable, you know, and that's me saying it. You know, but I've got, I got a good read on people. I, I am the exposer of all of all fake forms you know like people people can't be fake with me i just agitate them so much that if there's a nice guy in there they'll drop it uh just to argue with me so that's fine you know so anyway point being if you have to pay to sort of just get some loose association with someone that's actually achieved something it's kind of sad it's kind of pathetic you know, really attention-seeking behaviour. And he was always terrible as well. If you go look at his stats, are always dog shit, you know. Just, he just wasn't going to make it as a pro. Anyway, since then, he's, like, done, you know, like, an analyst jobs and coaching jobs. And he, he does something with Team Spirit at the moment. I'm not even really sure what it is. Uh, we'll get to that in a moment. But anyway, so somewhere along the line, you couldn't even pay to play with these players. You know, maybe he's just got too old, doesn't want to play anyway. So he started doing this thing of leaking. And as we all know, if you're from the, that region, if you're from the you know CIS, Russia, Ukraine, if you're from that re region, they leak everything for attention. It's always been that way. The Navi players, even when they were still playing, they would come out with shit. But certainly once they retired, they would just make up all this bullshit, all these stories. Zeus and Starix and Senya, they would just say shit. Like I mean, I think it was I think it was Starix, wasn't it, in the fucking ch coaching cheating scandal. Said well, yeah, well, obviously we've known about that for, for ages. And then he got banned, and then he went, uh, oh, but I don't remember me doing it. <laughs> like, you know, so uh, that's the level of clout-seeking, you know, goblinry that just goes on in that scene. They're just fucking morons, you know? Their esports reporting in that part of the world is just fucking stupid as well. You know, it's out-of-context quotes, it's mistranslations, or in some cases, just completely fabricated quotes. Like, you know, remember, for example, when the Na'Vi Defence Force came after me for saying Blade was a clown... A phrase I've never uttered, like, ever at any point except after they published an article saying I'd said it. So, it's, it, you know, it's just dog shit out there. And, and nothing exemplifies that more than Overdrive because he basically has leveraged these sort of tawdry associations with pro players into posing as an insider. And it's like, I don't know, I consider if you're getting info from players... Right, that's kind of like the first step on the inside the ladder, you know. Like I don't, I don't fucking hit players up for stories, you know. It's cringe. Like I know actually important people, you know. If I need something, I know who to ask, you know. I don't have to like get in a player's DM. It's like, what's up, bro? So you practicing with this person, bro? The other thing that a lot of these leakers do as well is, you know, they've got people on Steam. And you see people, like, playing with people and other stuff, like, it's just lame. It's just fucking sad. So anyway, he's positioned himself as an insider. He started, like, a fucking telegram, you know, that they have out there. And he posts stuff in there, like, you know, as I've said, this is the guy who said Neymar was making a super team with simple Z-Woo and Cold Zero. And he's just, it's just nonsense. It's just attention-seeking behavior from someone that can't handle the fact he, he's a nobody. You know, it's just, just is what it is. So anyway, he has continued of late to do these things where he poses as an outsider but he'll, he'll just say really vague stuff and it's clearly just made up stuff it's just stuff that if reddit is saying it what i do is if i'm overdrive i repeat it and then everyone goes see wow oh my god an insider saying it and then you go to the front page of reddit and you might get like 20 followers on your twitter account you know and so anyway he did this with nico again and he said uh, you know you can see here it is uh, there's an interesting rumor around G2 is that Nico wants to gather Balkan a uh, Balkan friend stack. It was one of the reasons he didn't accept the Falcons offer. Nexa is already in. Madden is gonna going to replace Hooksy. I wonder if if it's really true, but looks like it can be for real. Now, first of all, you're the insider, brother, so don't be wondering if it's really true while you post it. And even within the post of the insider, the great leaker, Overdrive, you're speculating if it's real. But let's also underline what we fucking know. Like, we, we know from the Falcons' appearance on HLTV. Nico asked for Beyond the Bag. Dan Zonic said, I am the bag. And that was that. And fucking Nico said, well, it doesn't bother me. 
I either get the mega bag with you or I stay with G2 and we're all we're all fine, you know? So when JKS got dropped, because everybody's oh JKS, blah, 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 I fucking love you. Maximum, glizzy, overdrive. <laughs> right? Like, cause everyone's like that every time fucking JKS's fucking name comes up, right? Like, obviously everybody lost their mind about the prospect that G2 would be fucking dropping JKS and bringing in Nexa, right? So it blew up on Reddit, and people were going, it can't be true, but it is true, <laughs> we, and it's been announced now, and it's like, listen, he didn't really do enough to say he was unimpeachable if you have to, like, improve G2. So, obviously, Overdrive sees this, and what did people say in that thread? We, we read it, right? We did the video. They said, this is just Nico being with friends. Right, now, here's why that narrative is fucking stupid to imply it's like some sort of nepotism and JKS is the best prospect, uh, but Nex is coming in because he's friends with Nico and that's all there is to it. And Nico says, I only want to play with friends now, right? Here's how you know it's bullshit. Do you remember when Nexa was in G2? Do you know who was on that team? Hunter and Nico? And you know who kicked him? Hunter and Nico? <laughs> so... I mean, if, if it was one big nepotism fest, why did Nexa get got then? It makes no sense, right? It's just, again, it's just like, oh, if I just put the facts in front of me, there's no way I could craft these fucking stupid, lazy narratives. But people don't like to do facts. They just like to do feelings and narratives, you know? So anyway, there is no way Overdrive could know. Like, how, how would he know? How would he know? Who does he talk to? That he could find out from G2 management, we were given an ultimatum that basically was kick JKS and hire my friends. And Madden's next. Which, by the way, so far, no movement on that front, right? So anyway, in reply to that, Nico just said, bro, you are delusional, shut up. <laughs> and then Overdrive, because he's just shameless and pathetic, just says... But if you want my serious answer, you're lying. But it's okay. Everyone still believes you. Smiles. Now, keep in mind, this is how you know he's a fucking moron, right? He himself speculated and said, I don't know if it's true. Said it, right? We saw the tweet where he said that. And then, even though he is speculating himself, when Nico goes, bro, you're delusional, he turns around and goes, yeah, you're lying. But everyone will believe you and not me. You speculated, you mad cunt. You, you yourself speculated about your own thoughts in your head. This is how I know you're a fucking schizo or something. Like, you're fucking speculating about things you're saying happened. Like, what are you doing? And then Nico just says, shut up. Maybe don't fuck up my reputation publicly. No? All right, yeah, wicked. So Nico said, thank you for your honest answer. Now I can sleep at night. Right? Simple took time out of his retirement and said to Nico, bro, don't spend your time on lying whore, right? So listen, I'll just I'll just put this out there. Simple has said, I don't know what I'm talking about o over the story where it was falsely reported I called Blade a clown, right? And then me and him sorted that out privately because, again, I can DM people and talk to them if I want to. And he said, oh, yeah, no bother. And, like, me and Simple are cool. Like, there's no fucking problems there, like. He's never called me a liar. No one's ever called me a liar, in fact. They, they, well, the ones that do get proven wrong, don't they? So then Overdrive, who you will recall, we did a video where we looked at some of the things he lied about for attention he then replied to simple saying i wonder who's the biggest liar you or me nice try well i mean if we're going on tweets <laughs> if we're going on simple's just a player best player of all time still just a player you're masquerading as a fucking journalist homie so i'm not like anyway that was the nico stuff what ended up happening was twists got involved. And so Overdrive wanted to, like, sort of say, oh, you know, listen, when I put stuff out there, you can believe me, Overdrive. <laughs> you can believe the guy who's been wrong repeatedly. 
Okay. After getting called out by Simple and Nico in the same day, Overdrive decided to do the closest thing he will get to self-reflection. And he said, My insides... <laughs> Gross. My insides, leaks, are based on a fact about a transfer. For example, if I write Narvi minus Simple, it's a fact. Now, again, we've shown how we got loads of those wrong, but whatever. In this case, I have 100% accuracy, just patently false. Does not have 100% accuracy with transfer moves at all. Rumours are based on info, which people verbally spread, and it's not a fact. It could be totally wrong, or have a chance to happen. And then just to clarify, after he said Nico was lying, remember, he's already publicly called Nico a liar, he said, Nico's stuff is a rumour, it can be totally wrong, but on the other hand, it has a chance to happen, smiley face. No, but you just said, you said Nico was lying. And then you called Simple a liar for no fucking reason. Do you see what I mean? This guy's a psycho, right? Like, uh, um, uh, like, well, we're going to get to, uh, yeah, <laughs> the answer's yes. <laughs> we're going <laughs> to we're gonna get to that, right? Uh, you can't have it both ways. It's like, you can't call someone a liar when you yourself acknowledge that you're speculating. It, it just doesn't work like that. So anyway, as I said, Twists got involved and he pointed out something that's a very good point, right? He said, since it's not in your bio, I will make this public info so people also see where your leaks come from. You're fully connected to Team Spirit and you even sit in on the scrims. I'm not surprised if you have info, if you help manage the roster. Would be good to disclose some of your sources. Thumbs up. Now, he's fucked up the last bit because obviously you wouldn't disclose your sources. But there you go, guys. If you've ever wondered, if you've ever wondered why Overdrive's really, really good when it comes to the Russian stuff and then just dog shit rolling the dice the rest of the time, that's why. He sees all the new teams when he's watching Team Spirit scrim against them. There's the big mystery. There's the big, you know, investigative journalist. Finger on the fucking pulse insider right there. That's what that's what he is, right? He also just added, what you do is shameless. <laughs> Agreed. But you do you. Which I thought was nice. Nice little addition there. Then, Overdrive tangled himself in knots even further. He said, it's, it's a part of cyber sport. Someone likes that. Someone don't. The same stuff in sports. Nothing bad about that. Sometimes I get a leak straight from the CEO of the team where a shuffle is made. And he asks me to post it so player could get a faster offer. So now, <laughs> just to go even further into it, he's basically saying he helps teams offload players by letting people know publicly they're available through leaks, he gets directly from management of those teams. Which, by the way, might just be grotesquely unethical, because what if it doesn't help the player? That's what he considers investigative journalism. I get asked to do a favour, right? Then he continued again, and he said, Man, this is again to twists, you don't know me well. On HLTV Confirmed, I started my speech with that I'm not insider. First of all, I'm spirit scout, coach assistant, and only thirdly, I'm kind of insider. So you do call yourself an insider then, right? Good, can't be got there. But I can't do anything with the fact that insides are very hyped, and you people know me as insider. Well, there's one thing you could do to stop people knowing you as an insider. You could stop calling yourself a fucking insider. You could stop leaking people's private roster moves. And by the way, if I was like playing, if I was a, a team that was like doing roster moves and maybe bringing in new players and I saw this, I'm not scrimming team spirit. Fuck that. Why would I scrim him? This cunt's just going to leak the roster move. Like, so, teams, you know, because I know loads of players still watch my shit. T tell, if, you're, if you're ever doing any roster moves, just don't scrim against Team Spirit while while he's an employee. Like, it's pretty straightforward. This is the cause of a lot of your pain. This is why you can't bed in new players in the off-season and play some games with them before committing to a contract. Because the cunt's like this. Twist and added. So you prove my point that you are affiliated with Spirit, which means you would have info that others don't have because of your job, which is true. And then he said, why you don't want to sort out the question? 
and you just say what's on the surface. Do you really think that, for example, Liquid plus Cadian I get from Spirit? Or do you really think that all CIS teams give info to Spirit and they give it to me? Ask, for example, Ryan how it's working. Right? So, <laughs> oh, but it's, this is what a cunt he is. What he's implying there, by the way, in case you don't know, one of the things you'll have seen is that Ryan isn't a very good journalist either. He's like another one of these, you know, wannabes that are sort of playing catch-up on journalism. You know, doesn't know what a conflict of interest is, you know, doesn't know how to approach certain stories, you know, like, get stuff wrong. Like, you know, when he was the editor at a site, you know, he fucking, you know, he, he, he ran a fucking... Uh, story well one of his reporters ran a story that was just lifted from BTN and it was just speculation and they just ran it repeat you know as, as but what he what he's in what he's implying is that Ryan's got some sort of special relation with someone at liquid and he's leaking it so again just being a cunt like that right because that's just who he is so because he took so many L's he said, to put an end to this story, I can tell you that my insider or any other personal stuff have nothing to do with my work in spirit. I have a lot of friends and contacts all over the world who provide me info. There you go. Case closed. Now, after that, I think he saw the video, because I don't think he watches the stream, but I, I think he saw the video that I did, and he got upset. Now, he put a video on his Telegram, and I, I warn you, this is like one of the most bizarre breakdown reactions I, I've I've sort of ever seen over me just scrutinising someone else's work. Right? I'm so glad that Jeff fucking did, got got this and saved this because I was like, fucking, this is like just so bizarre. This is what he posted, right? And remember, this is all just because I went. He said accuracy was important, but look at all the stuff he got wrong. Richard Lewis is a fucking clown. Why the fuck he's searching my rumors from 2021? Go fuck yourself, you old dog shit. Now, I didn't real. I thought, right, I felt bad. I'm not gonna lie, I felt bad because... I've never met the guy in, in person, and the only, like, relationship we've sort of had in the past has just been via, like, typing at each other, you know what I mean? I might have met him at an event, but, you know, I, I did so many back in the day, and I was so fucked up a lot of the time that, you know, I don't really remember everybody that I've met. It gets awkward sometimes, you know, because people come up to me now and they'll say, like, oh, do you remember in 20... Fucking... Do you remember in 2013? I'm like, I don't remember much in 2013, you know? Well, like, that's fine, right? So anyway, when I heard that, I thought, oh, no. I've been fucking beefing with someone who's, like, you know, got developmental problems. And I felt really fucking bad. Because I was like, fuck. Like, he's obviously got an, you know, because of the voice and that. And I, and I was like, I was like, shit. So I was going to, I was nearly almost ready to like write him a note and say, oh, "Sorry, mate. Like, I fully apologise. Like, I'm out of, I'm out of, uh, I'm out of order." Like, but anyway, what he was do, somebody messaged me and went, "What he was doing was he was trying to mimic your accent." <laughs> and I went, "What?" He went, "No, he thought that was funny. He told everybody he was like joking and." He was trying to mimic your accent, and I went, "What?" I said, "He doesn't sound. He doesn't talk like that normally." And he went, "No, no, 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 no." And this is like, you know, this is a Russian friend, right? So I went, "Oh, right, okay." No, that's it was a relief actually. It was a relief, and so anyway, let's just see. Richard Lewis is a fucking clown. Why the fuck he's searching my rumors from 2021? Go fuck yourself, you old dog shit. So, you know, he's gone for something there. And, you know, listen, I will say, accents are hard. Like, accents are difficult. Accents are tough. You know, I remember, I, we've all seen Far and Away with Tom Cruise. You know, we've all seen Harrison Ford on uh, 
what was that submarine one he did? Was it K2, the Widowmaker or something? I can't remember. We've all seen Brad Pitt do patois in Meet Joe Black. So, you know, we, 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 we accents are odd. Oh, uh, you know, for real. But uh, what I'm going to say is, hang on, what does he say? Richard Lewis is a fucking clown. Hang on, let me just. Richard Lewis is a fucking clown. Why the fuck he's searching my rumors from 2021? Go fuck yourself, you old dog shit. Richard Lewis is a fucking clown. Why is he searching my rumors from 2021? Go fuck yourself, you old dog shit. Yeah, right? Maybe. Let him cook, I say. Actually, now that I listen back. Now that I listen back, I do sound like that. I do sound like that. I wasn't even trying to sound like him there. You think I'm nailing his imp No, I, I was just... It's hard, like, it's hard. Now, just before we break down the contents of the 12 seconds of him having a meltdown, one thing that also stuck out to me, which I couldn't sort of get past, was I was trying to think who he looked like. It was driving me fucking crazy. And it's such an obscure reference, right? But what I realised was, do you remember that cunt who fucking drank poison in The Hague? <laughs> remember the guy who got up and said, I don't recognise this court's authority. And he, like, drank the poison. Bro, like, I, I was like, like a ball out of the blue. Like, like a ball out of the blue. It's just an older version of him. You all dog shit. I couldn't believe it. So let's just let's just analyze what he's saying actually in the tweet itself. Richard Lewis is a fucking clown. Okay, so I, I don't know. I, I guess I can't really dispute that. You know, that is an opinion. He's entitled to it, I guess. Why the fuck he's searching my rumors from 2021? I don't get why he's mad about me searching his rumors from 2021 because he says he's got a 100% accuracy rate, which we just saw. So it should be okay for me to search his rumors from 2021, but he's upset about it. And it's like, I, I, I was looking at them to prove that you'd got ones wrong, but okay. Go fuck yourself, you old dog shit. Now, the funny part about calling me an old dog shit is I think we're only like three, four years difference in age. <laughs> and I don't look like the guy that poisoned himself in the hay. <laughs> so, I don't know, bit weird. So, anyway, there was some good things to come out of that. We did get a meme or two. Scouse J contributed this, and he said, Richard Lewis, according to Overdrive, you're a fucking clown. Can you confirm or deny that this is a real image of you asking for a friend? Now, obviously, Scouse J, he's a regular, isn't he? He's, he's a regular on the, on the Discord, and this was a bit of fun between regulars on the Discord. Harumi liked this tweet. Guess they're in some sort of fucking shit leakers alliance. But I, I like the fact that I look like Captain fucking Spaulding there from like House of a Thousand Fucking Corpses. Like ridiculous, but uh, but not but not bad. Uh, look good in that makeup actually. So anyway, then it wasn't enough that he did the whole Richard Lewis is a fucking clown thing. He really got sort of upset i think with all the negative like attention he decided that despite it being pretty much all anyone knows him for he is now gonna take a break from rumors he said i decided i won't ever write any rumors stuff out here it can hurt a rumor object and it's the last thing i want to be insides are unique content and when you switch to rumors you multiply on zero the uniqueness of your content now i don't know what any of that means <laughs> they are just the dribblings of an utter moron uh, who's not very good at doing accents uh on the subject of the accents before we get to the last thing if you ever want to know how stupid the average hltv user is which i'm sure you already know there were people in that thread that thought he did a really good accent you can see here this is overdrive on rl it sounds ai generated because he's imitating Richard Lewis's British accent. He did a terrible job, just like in Making Up Lies. Yeah, he's Russian, so his imitation of a British accent is going to be way off. Somebody said, no, he's not imitating it. And he said, he is, obviously. No, you think he can do that. Great stuff. Based. Nice British accent. Right, this is again, this is from a Russian. Nice British accent. Fancy some tea, kind sir. 
Overdrive spits facts. Doesn't. Ha 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 ha. Overdrive has been an ass throughout the history of CS, but I started to like him recently. I'm an Overdrive fan now. Banger. Then there's this here, right? Richard Lewis has broken most of the big stories about CSGO and has a fantastic track record with accuracy versus a peanut-brained Russian who gets second-hand leaks from sitting in on scrims. And then people reply to that with, nice try, Richard. Real subtle Richard. As if, keep in mind, I, ha I do have an HLTV account, but I can't post on it because I'm banned for 10 years for some reason. <laughs> I've literally never posted on HLTV. And I, and and they they allow me to post my stream up on there, but they ten yeared me before I even ever posted anything. Hi, Rich. Nice try, Richard. Dry the tears, Richard. Sup, Rich? Like I wouldn't be surprised if this was Richard Lewis's five hundredth alt. That's that no quarter guy again. Remember the brain, like the really fucked up, obsessive loser. Overdrive speaks the language of facts, based. I love Overdrive. Don't even know what this is about. I mean, how Thorin gets involved in here, I don't really know. I don't really like either, but wow, I dislike RL and Thorin a lot. They are dicks to everyone for no reason. That's a hallmark of my personality. And their egos are so stupid. I am esports. Literally a, a prequel meme with that you're too dumb to understand because you've probably never even seen the prequels because you're a Zoomer with fucking 80 IQ. Same thing with Maui. You guys are not the main characters, and no one cares about your personality, says the obsessive HLTV user, especially if your personality is being a dick. These people think they are so important when really no one cares. I remember Maui, this is a thread about Overdrive insulting me. I remember Maui claiming to not be following Simple when the Nafani thing happened. That was like after Simple said he uh, unfollowed him, and Maui, Maui said, I never followed you to begin with. It's so childish to me. Instantly turn off whenever I see any of those three. I, well, I haven't done a broadcast since 2021, so it should be real easy to turn off. Or rather, you shouldn't have to worry about turning off. I'm, I'm not on them. Like. Some analysts people find annoying but aren't really trying to just make a name for themselves by create, creating controversy. Maybe with like Yanko, Kassad and Sponge, their voices differentiate them so they don't have to resort to trolling on Twitter for people to know them. So that's his theory. Uh, and then this person, they're dicks to everyone for no reason. The reason is impressions. This is always like a super weird argument to me. Like they would have to actually be brain damaged to make. Because that same person will say, yeah, and they block everyone for no reasons. If I want impressions, why would I block anyone? So these things aren't compatible. But again, the esports fan is an animal. The average esports fan is the lowliest the beast. Like, if I had to draw up a food chain and, like, people who've had zero exposure to esports would be the upper echelons, you know, like the humans. And then, like, the esports fans would be down there with, like, millipedes and stuff like that, like, you know, whatever they're called. So, actually insane. Like, a normal, a normal person will experience cognitive dissonance when they say something that's patently false, you know, in contrast to a statement they've previously made about the same topic. But no, they, they, they don't. Uh, it's crazy. Um, Richard Lewis is a sellout who will say anything for money. Then somebody replied with, it's hard to find a more incorrect statement. Richard, you aren't American. Common Overdrive, W. Overdrive is greater than Richard Clownis just by not being an attention-seeking, irrele irrelevant loser. Everything he does is for attention. It serves no purpose beyond attention. The work I do, at least, I mean, you can say, well, you know, he does a showman aspect, blah, blah, blah. you know what I mean? But it's like, it's everything he does. Like, he doesn't have to leak, right? He doesn't get paid for it. He doesn't do it for a website. He does it literally for attention. So the actual attention seeker beats me, somebody that produces work of value and has been employed to do that throughout their lives. Uh, I'm the real attention seeker the whole time. That's funny as fuck. So then, unfortunately, because I'm living in his head rent free, after Overdrive said, I promise I'll never do rumors ever again on a score bleeding blimey governor, um, because he's realizing people are starting to see through his bullshit now. He then just did this for like no no reason, uh, which is like such a, again, I, I don't, you have to be really deranged to sort of type this out. 
I really want HLTV or someone big in cybersport to make a debate podcast thing where people from media argue about different stuff. For example, insiders, all pros and cons. I bet Lewis dodged that because he has no chance arguing face to face. So I don't even know how we get to fucking debate me, bro. Or Richard is scared of debate. Notorious like... Richard acts like an asshole to everyone he meets, but he wouldn't act like an asshole this time for reasons. What's there to debate? Debate about insides and stuff? I don't know what you mean. What's there to debate? I don't have a problem with them. I have a problem when you get it wrong, but I don't have a problem with anyone doing this. So what's the debate? But it's just like, debate me, bro. You wouldn't dare say it to my face. Say it to my face, fuck it, bro. You look like a fucking pussy. You look like an absolute pussy. Like, serious, like, the average Russian is hard as fucking nails, in my experience. You're like the fucking, I don't know, whatever was left out of the primordial lose, bro. Like, you ain't it. Like, you're not intimidating to anyone. So I don't even know why you're saying it like that. You look like, a, you are like, probably by Russian standards, the biggest fucking type of loser. So I don't know, bro. I mean, I'm not intimidated. Sorry to break it to you. But there's there's nothing for us to debate about. I was literally typing up an apology because I thought you had something wrong with you. <laughs> Besides the th other things you have wrong with you. So it's okay, bro. Just like, just fucking get, just get some fucking, just get some rest and get over it. I'm sorry I pointed out that your leaks are wrong.